Yeah. So, you know, because of, you know, the Bitcoin's open ledger, we can track all the, the different uh, cohorts, ages of the coins. You can see, you know, when when coins move and then when the when coins move out of a wallet, they're considered spent. So just looking at, you know, the different cohorts of coins by age, um, you, you like you said, we're seeing a lot of uh, selling between that, that one to three month and three to six month. Um, so perhaps, you know, these are funds that may be accumulated in, you know, the, the 10 to 20 K band last year, uh, at the end of last year. And then also, you know, in that upper, you know, 50 to 60 K range. Um, and, and those coins of course are, are selling at a loss, but, uh, I think, you know, one, one thing to take away is that it's a lot of the selling is coming from, uh, newer market participants rather than people that have been in this market for a long time. Um, and, and you can see that through this metric called dormancy, which basically is just, uh, looks at the amount of, um, it, it's not necessarily an average of the of the coins, of, of the age of the coins as a different metric, but this is looking at something called coin days destroyed. Um, so if you if you have a coin in a, in a wallet for one day, it has one coin day. And then once it moves, it has one coin day destroyed. Or if it's in a wallet for 10 days and then it moves out of the wallet, it then has 10 coin days destroyed. Um, so this is looking at a ratio of that to the, to the um, on-chain volume. And so you can kind of get this this clear signal uh, where trending down since uh, you call it, you know, January. Um, it's it's been younger and younger coins selling, uh, which I, th I think is an is a important trend to see. Where you know, at the tops historically, um, it's it's been younger coins um, selling kind of towards towards the middle to beginning uh, of, of the bull market. Um, and, and then, you know, the older coins are, are coming in. Uh, I'm sorry, the older coins are being sold into strength, uh, you know, towards towards the end of the bull market. So uh, I, I think the fact that we're not seeing um, a lot of a lot of the older coins selling, I think it is some signal because uh, the, these are the people that have been in the market the longest. So I think, you know, they're, they're the ones, they're the kind of the smart money in the space. If, if you just, you know, if we start to see these older cohorts, you know, three to five years, five to seven years, uh, 10 years plus, if you start to see those people um, selling significantly, I, I think that's, you know, something to kind of raise an eyebrow to.